Hey everyone and welcome back to the second half of Getting Ready to Boondock. Today I'm going to be talking about battery anxiety we have with our lead acid batteries. To be honest, I really hate talking about lead acid batteries altogether, mainly because they are confusing to figure out when they need to be charged and the labeling on them is basically kind of like lying to us. And this is where the anxiety comes in. It is the fear of running our house batteries down to below 50% of their charge because if you do this you're going to damage them they're not going to last as long they're not going to perform as well anymore basically they're just going to become useless so it's similar to how in the first video we talked about running out of water and that it's just on our mind same thing with our batteries but it's actually worse if we run out of water it just turns into a big inconvenience you know I have to go out grab more water refill our tank but if we run our house batteries down below 50% then we're damaging them. It's, it's not just an inconvenience. We're, we're actually causing damage to them and then uh, needing to replace our batteries more often than we should. So that's really where the anxiety is. It's just the fear that we're causing damage to our batteries every time we travel with them, whether that be at long periods of time unplugged or just overnight at a rest area or Walmart or Flying J or something like that. You know, we just have to be careful and mindful of our power consumption and the anxiety affects both of us you know it's just just not me but it's Sabrina too especially it's kind of doubled on Sabrina because I'm a little hard on her about the power consumption you know we'll, we'll pull into a rest area for the night or a, a flying J and she's quick to turn on the inverter you know she might be charging her computer wanting to watch TV and things like that and then when she's like done with the TV and if she doesn't turn the inverter off right away I kind of get on her and be like look we got to you know, ration our power. We only got, you know, so much because we don't want to be, you know, asleep in the middle of the night, running out of power, waking up and realizing that our batteries went below that 50%. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's no fun. <laughs> it's just not a fun way to, to travel. So not only do we have like our inverter running and draw on power, then of course, you know, if maybe if we're running an exhaust fan or our interior lights or the fan for our furnace, you know, all these things are draining on our two house batteries. I want to say that we get about six hours out of our batteries before we need to recharge them again. We get a little bit more if we're sleeping because we shut everything down, like as much as we can. <laughs> you know, make them last the, the eight hours while we're asleep. I'm actually surprised that our batteries have lasted this long. I would like to think it's because I try to take very good care of them. Every month I'm doing the necessary maintenance to them. I'm popping the caps off, checking and refilling distilled water in them if they need be. Um, it's kind of a hassle, but if you want your batteries to last, and actually perform the way they're supposed to, it's uh, kind of a necessity. So battery anxiety is certainly a real thing for us, but luckily there is a fix for it, and it's a, a pretty awesome fix for it. <laughs> if you listen to the podcast that I do with my buddy Sean Chickory, you'll know that we did an interview with a company called Battleborn Batteries, and we interviewed Sean Nichols, who is the co-founder of Battleborn Batteries. And these are lithium batteries, for RVs. They also make them for other applications, but for me, I only care about the RV part of it. So during that interview, it was like a major eye-opener for me. When Sean was telling me all the benefits of the lithium battery, it was like everything that we worried about with our lead-acid battery doesn't pertain to a lithium battery. And I had, I mean, I've heard the term lithium before. In fact, uh, Sabrina and I all of our cars in the last, I'd say, seven or eight years have had the uh, lithium batteries in them because we drive hybrids. But I just didn't realize all the advantages of it. But um, before I jump into the lithium batteries and Battleborn batteries, I just want to take one more look at the lead acid batteries and why I dislike them so much. <laughs> if a lead acid battery is labeled 100 amp hours, you would think, all right, I have 100 amp hours. If I have two batteries, that gives me 200 amp hours. But it's not true. And this is where I, earlier I said, you know, it's almost like they're lying or deceiving. You're not allowed to use all 100 amp hours. You're only allowed to use 50% of that. You have to cut your batteries off at 50% and then do your recharge. So now you're only getting 50 amp hours out of each battery. You just lost half of it. And that's only true if you're using 5 amps per hour. If you use more than that, then a lead acid battery is... Uh, affected by what's called the, the putrid effect, and it is as bad as it sounds. The putrid effect, I'm probably mispronouncing it, but if you use more than five amps per hour, then your 50 amp usable actually starts to decrease 
down to 40 amps or 30 amps depending on how much of a load you're putting on your battery so if you're starting to draw 10 amps an hour all of a sudden you're down to like 30 40 amps of usable power and uh that, I don't know, that kind of sucks too, doesn't it? <laughs> so that's why I say it's a little confusing too sometimes. You can't just go by one set number and be done with it. So as you would imagine, it's pretty common to damage these lead-acid batteries. And that's probably why most likely that these only come with usually a one-year warranty. Okay, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about the lithium battery um, and why we wanted these Battleborn batteries. So on a Battleborn battery, the label says 100 amp hours. And the nice thing about that is, is that's exactly what you're getting. You're getting 100 usable amp hours. So for me, that's a win right away. They're not giving you a false number on the label. They're labeling them exactly what you get out of them. You're getting 100 amp hours of usable energy. And on a lithium battery, you're not restricted to that 5 amps per hour. They don't, they're not affected by that putrid effect. You can draw more power per hour and still get your full amount of 100 amp hours. You're not going to lose your your full bank of power. Another great thing about these is that you don't have to worry about running your batteries down too low and causing damage. You can't damage these batteries by using them. Uh, I mean that alone <laughs> takes all that anxiety out. Um, you, you're able to use the full 100 amp hours and when they're depleted you just recharge them again. Um, and, and you don't have to worry about, oh, well, now I just used too much, and now they're damaged, and now I just cut the, the lifespan in them in half. These batteries are made to, to shut down uh, when they use the 100 amp hours and cut themselves off or do something like this <laughs> to uh, protect themselves. They do the wearing for you. You don't have to worry about them. You just put them in and use them, and you don't worry about them. You don't even do maintenance on them. So these are like all self-contained. There's no caps to take off. You don't clean these things. This is why Sabrina and I were talking it over. We were like, this is a total game changer for us. This this brings RVing to a new level for us, a, a better experience that while we're out and about and we're traveling, that we don't need to worry about batteries. Like they just take care of themselves and we just use them as we need them and charge them if we have to. Why have we been doing it the other way around? Why have we had to worry about batteries for so long. It's, it's unbelievable. So Sabrina and I decided, you know, that we were going to go with the Battleborn batteries after talking to Sean Nichols. And uh, we went to their website. We started shopping around to see what we needed, what size we wanted, and things like that. And shortly afterwards, we got a, an email from Sean. He said that as a thank you for having him on the podcast, and also Sean Chickory and I interviewed him for full-time Freedom Week, he said, you know, to show my appreciation, I'd, I'd like to give you uh, a battery upgrade. I want to, you know, give you guys two of our 100 amp hour lithium batteries. And we were like, wow, that is unbelievable. We, it's like, it couldn't have been better timing. <laughs> I even told him, I said, we're actually on your website just the other day shopping around. We were going to uh, purchase some. And, I, you know, I thanked them like crazy. And I said, you know, I'll, I'll do a little video about them too. Then on our YouTube channels, I think, you know, this is awesome that you're doing this for us. You know, it, it's not necessary. We loved having you on the show. We thought it was awesome. And he said, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'll tell you, he only knew me from the, the podcast. And I'll tell you, uh, nothing, nothing hurts your ego more as a YouTube creator as when somebody says, I didn't, I've never even heard of your channel before, but it was okay. Um, but I thought that was kind of funny. So honestly, these batteries could not be coming to us at a better time. Sabrina and I are about to do this cross country trip all the way out to California. I think it's, I think we're doing about 7,000 miles round trip and, uh, we're just going to be on the go so much and stopping, uh, pretty much, you know, wherever we want, kind of, sort of, you know, wherever we're allowed and legal and, uh, to be able to just stop and use the power of these batteries man this is a game changer for real you, you, it's it's just amazing but um i'd like to also kind of point out i'm sure everybody knows this that i am not a battery expert but sean nichols is and sabrina and i sean chicory and julie chicory are going to do a meet and greet at the rtr in arizona in January. I don't know the exact date, but we're going to do a meet and greet with Sean Nichols at the Battleborn booth. And uh, this guy is like super genius. He was making these batteries in his garage and has now built it up to, to what it is today. I mean, when you're talking about like somebody super knowledgeable about batteries, 
this is the guy that you want to talk to. So if you would like to just like come out, meet Sabrina and I and Sean and Julie, um, we'll be over at the booth. And then you get to ask Sean Nichols like directly all the most techy, you know, questions you want. You know, you could just kind of let loose with him. Um, he's a super nice guy, very smart, and I, I, I would be dumbfounded if you stumped him. <laughs> <laughs> on anything. <laughs> He's pretty amazing. These batteries were super easy. I just finished actually swapping them out before I did this video. If you can change, you know, a battery in a car, you can change these batteries. It's something that I really liked about it too. There was nothing special or crazy. Actually though, Sean did go one step further. Give us this right here. It's called a pendant. One simple plug. I'll be able to plug this into our converter and it's like a a quick charge so he said if we were plugged in somewhere for a short period of time and we knew that we were just on be doing a quick turnaround uh, that little pendant there has a button we pushed a button and it does a quick charge on these batteries so that's another advantage of the lithium batteries that i forgot to mention is that they charge at a much faster rate than your lead acid batteries and you would never be able to do a quick charge on a lead acid battery or anything like that so just all around pretty amazing they're really incredible and I would imagine somebody in the comments is going to say, yes, but you, you do pay for them. They cost more money. And that's true. You know, your upfront cost compared to a lead acid battery is more. But a Battleborn battery comes with a 10-year warranty. And they are built to last you those full 10 years. They have a lifespan of, I think, 300,000 amp hours. So you will get your full 10 years out of them compared to swapping out lead acid batteries every other year. So if you, you break it down to amp hour to amp hour, the Battleborn batteries actually wind up to be cheaper per amp hour. I'll put a comparison and, and you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, the last line breaks it down from amp hour to amp hour. I'm telling you guys, these batteries are complete game changer. <laughs> and we can't wait to start using them. So take care. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and we will... Catch you in the next video. All right, everybody. Bye.